Hello, my name is Tazen from Casa Geo, the data science and location intelligence company with part 2 on the fuzzy match tool. Let's take another look at the results from sequence 1. We see record ID, record ID 2, match score and match score my name with a total of 2 records. What we don't see are the names that are being matched. You can make it easy and use the variable my name as the record ID. Then I see the different spellings instead of the record ID. But I strongly advise against this. Using names or words that may contain spelling mistakes as key variables is not a good idea. Furthermore, duplicates could occur. We solve this by passing the names via the record ID to the output of the fuzzy match tool with the join tool. I rename my name to my name record ID 1 in the first tool and my name record ID 2 in the second join tool. Let's run the workflow again. Great! The names are now displayed. But the table still only contains two records. I expected three, namely the pairs 1, 2, 1, 3 and 2, 3. Why is the last pair not displayed? In the fuzzy match tool, there is a threshold value for when the words are accepted as similar. By default it is 80%. The threshold sorts out all records that are below this value. So you only get the results that interest you. Records with a score below the threshold are deleted. Since we want to see all data, we set it to 0%. To do this, we edit the match style and there below we can change the match threshold. By clicking on OK, we confirm the change and set it to zero at this point too. We run the workflow again. Perfect, now we get three datasets and indeed the match score of the last dataset is below 80%. In sequence 3 we look at why we need to change the match threshold in two places and why we get a match score and a match score my name in the table. Thank you for your time. We are happy to support you in the area of data science and location intelligence.